morning you guys I just wanted to make this video just because of some stuff that's been going on in my comments and usually I just ignore the hate um, like honestly I, I try not to let it get to me I wanted to make this video and I probably will get hate on this video too because people literally have nothing better to do with their lives I posted a video about how we were wanting to move um, I wasn't gonna post that. I was not gonna talk about it. Um, I was just gonna, we were just gonna keep it to ourselves. Um, but I thought I would share with you guys. This is like our journey, our life, and this is part of our journey. Like we were, you know, planning on moving, we were still planning on moving. And I just wanted to share with you what happened. And it's funny that just with the amount that I shared, how many people made it to be such a negative thing by saying that we don't have any money to say that we don't have any credit by saying that we're stupid and that we should just buy a house why are we renting literally everything I'm going to say my opinion I'm only going to make this one video responding to the hate comments because you just you have to like not let it get to you and I've learned this. one by saying that we don't have any income and that's why they denied us is completely false. You think we just live here for free? You think everything we buy we just get for free from Target, Walmart, the kids clothes we just get for free? No, we pay for that stuff. We have income. Yes, my husband is a seasonal worker. Yes, my husband is a seasonal worker, but that has nothing to do with renting with anything we still get income like i said you think everything here is for free everything that we buy is free you think someone just paid for our vacation we paid for disney world we paid to go to all four of those parks we paid to travel down there we paid for every single thing anything that you see we pay for and I think it's so funny that people try to say, well, you don't have income. No wonder why they didn't, they didn't, they didn't approve you. Girl, we have income, first off. Second, I saw a comment saying how all we do is complain. How it started with work on our car and how, you know, it's going to be a lot of money. But yeah, we can go on vacation. One, if we want to go on a damn vacation, we are going to go on a vacation. If I want to go on a vacation next week, we're gonna go on this vacation. No one is gonna sit there and tell me that we can't go on a vacation. Yeah, I complained about our car. Who wouldn't complain about their car when they get a phone call saying that it's gonna be a thousand dollars to fix their car? Who wouldn't complain about that? Am I just supposed to be like, oh yeah, sir, a thousand dollars, no big deal. Of course I'm gonna complain. It's a thousand freaking dollars. A thousand dollars. Yeah, we went on vacation. Am I just supposed to be like, oh, a thousand dollars on our car. Might as well just cancel this vacation. No, we paid for this vacation. I'm not going to cancel it. So I think that's funny. Would you complain if you got a call from your mechanic and they were like, oh, it's a thousand dollars? Of course you would. Any person would. And then when I do say something about our car, any little thing about our car, I get people who go, well, why don't you just buy a new car? Okay, are you gonna buy me a new car? No, and guess what? Every car we have had, we have bought in cash. We don't like loans. I'm not gonna have a car loan. So, unless you're gonna fork up $30,000, $10,000, $15,000 for a car, then don't say I should go buy a new car. I'm fine with my car, and unless it's gonna cost me thousands upon, thousands upon thousands of dollars, then maybe I'll consider getting a new car. We've actually talked about maybe, maybe, maybe. Smallest, smallest, smallest chance on finally getting a newer, newer vehicle, maybe this year or next year, probably more next year. It's just so funny that people are like, well, go buy a brand new car. Maybe if you had a newer car, you wouldn't have problems. You'd still have problems. Newer cars have problems too. Like I said, unless you're gonna fork up the fifteen to thirty thousand dollars for a car, I ain't, we ain't buying a new car. I ain't getting a loan for a car. Like I said, every car we have had, we have paid for in cash. <sighs> Another thing that really bothered me was people saying that our credit wasn't good enough. One, are you my bank? Are you my financial advisor? Or do you do my bills? No, you don't. I know my credit score. I know Gage's credit score. If I wanted to buy a house, I can go buy a house right now. 
that has nothing to do with it. And for people to say that, oh, if you can buy a house then, because I know I'm going to get these comments after I said that. If you can buy a house then, then why wouldn't you? Do you want to come see what's on the market right now in the areas that we want to be in? Because it's pretty crappy and not what we want. Why would I just go and be like, well, I can buy a house, but... I guess, I guess we'll have to just go with this house. It's not what we want. It's pretty, pretty shitty. But, I mean, you know, everybody's telling me I should just buy a house. Not going to happen. One, I do not want to buy a townhome. I will never, ever, ever buy a townhome. If you bought a townhome, that's great for you and, like, great for your family. I cannot buy a townhome. I will rent a townhome. I will never buy a townhome. I personally want a yard, and I don't want to pay, like, the HOA fees. That's literally all that's in the area for um, where we want. Otherwise, it gets super, super, super expensive where it's just not realistic. You know what I mean? So, hi. Hi. For people to say that we we don't have better, we don't have good credit, and they obviously have better credit than you. They might have, but that doesn't mean my credit is terrible. Like I said, if I wanted to go buy a house, I could go buy a house right now, but we chose not to. We don't want to. We still want to rent. That is our choice. That is no one else's business to sit there and criticize because we want to keep renting until we, we, you know, the people who are going to be putting money and buying the house want to buy a house. Now, I didn't know credit had to do with renting. Everywhere we have rented, they have never checked our credit, or maybe they did during the background, and it's always been great. And I just didn't know about it, but we've never, ever, ever had a problem, problem renting. Never. And I understand. The landlord has to watch out for themselves. I totally get that, because if I was renting, I would get that too. Yeah, maybe they had a very amazing credit score and they were like, well, just go with these people. That doesn't mean that we're not reliable. Never, ever, ever missed a payment on rent, never. I have always been on time every month for the five years we have rented. Always, 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 always pay my bills on time. I actually pay, some of my bills are due in the middle of the month. I always pay those bills ahead of time, the first of the month, always. Never late on bills. So does that mean just because they got the house and they have better credit score, that means I'm not reliable or I have crappy credit score? No, it doesn't. I'm just so tired of people thinking that they know our life. I'm so tired of people thinking that they know our financial situation just because of a video. Yeah, my husband's home. That doesn't mean that we have zero income. I'm just so tired of people thinking that they know everything and I know I already know that I am going to get hate on this video and if you are going to leave hate on this video then there's a little button down there and you can unsubscribe from our channel. I don't care because I want this to be a positive channel. Yeah, I complain sometimes. Who doesn't? Are you perfect? You never complain? I'm sorry. If you're going to hate, I don't want you on this channel. I don't care for you or your comment if you're just going to be negative. There's videos that I watch where I'm like, ooh, wow. But I would never, ever leave a negative comment because I'm not like that. I keep it to myself. My mom always told me, if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say it at all. There's one thing to have constructive criticism, but if you're gonna be just nasty and telling me why we didn't get it or telling me how our life is, you will be blocked and I don't care. I'm just gonna end this vlog here. I just had to get that off my chest. I'm not gonna respond to any more hate comments on this channel. I'm just going to delete the comments because it is so annoying. So annoying that you see 10 to 15 minutes of our life, but you think that you know our entire life. There's so, so many things that we haven't told you guys that we just keep personal to ourselves. Try to like open up our life a little bit and share a little bit and this is what happens. Like get off the internet if you're just gonna be a nasty troll. Get to be there and support each other. Support one another. Instead of tearing this channel down and instead of tearing us down by saying we weren't good enough to get it, it's because of this, this, and this, why don't you say, 
next time will be better. Be nice, be supportive. You know what I mean? Like, oh, maybe next time, maybe the next house. You know what I mean? Like, be supportive. Like, just be nice. Is it that hard? And I just wanna say that this is the nice version. This is the nicest way I could say this. I could say so, so much more. But I know that we have younger followers and I don't want all that language on my video. But I will say this, and I'm only gonna say this one thing, but get off my f***ing back about every little f***ing thing. You don't like my content, don't be here. I love all of you that support us. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will talk to you in our next video. Bye guys.